Hi, I am Dr. Louis Maltzmacher, and I've been a practicing general dentist for over 30 years. You are about to see some information on an extraction system that can literally change your practice. Let's face it, extractions are the building blocks to many other profitable procedures such as socket preservation and implants. If you are not doing an extraction, you are likely not doing implants and socket preservation in your practice. Exodontia is often the first step or building block to growing your practice and incorporating other procedures. With a growing and aging population requiring extractions, there's simply no reason to not perform difficult extractions in your practice, followed by socket preservation and ultimately offering implants. You can't afford not to implement the physics forceps into your practice today. For many of us, extractions are scheduled at the end of the day when we are not sure how much time it's going to take to achieve an extraction. This system that you're about to see has made extractions a very predictable procedure in a very short amount of time. Once you get this technique down, this will deliver the tooth every time, even if there is no crown present and most often with no buccal bone damage. Extractions happen in a matter of minutes. I would invite you to listen closely. The information you're about to review can have a really significant impact on your practice every single day. When we're talking about dental implants, we're talking about removing non-restorable teeth. And removing teeth has always been a difficult thing for many practitioners. I've been using the physics forceps for quite a while now, and I find that it's just an, a magical piece of equipment. It allows me to easily remove very damaged teeth without damaging the bone surrounding those teeth. And that's very critical for implant placement and socket grafting. We want to maintain that buccal plate as much as possible. The, the forcep is a, is a wonderful tool that my patients have responded very positively to. I had a patient the other day who warned me before I was taking out a very, very damaged tooth that the last tooth she had taken out, the dentist literally put his knee on her chest to remove it. And so she expected a very, very difficult extraction. I was done in a matter of minutes using the physics forcep and she was amazed. She literally teared up in the chair and gave me a big hug. She was so happy that it was an easy extraction. So it's an amazing instrument. I say it's magic, uh, and I say that to my staff every time I use it. It's just magic. It's something that is, is so special, and I strongly recommend that if you don't have it in your armamentarium, that you, you do have it, because it'll make your life that much easier. The physics forceps allows us to be effective and efficient um, but most importantly, it allows us to maintain the buccal plate of bone. Not only do I do full mouth extractions in my practice, um, but I also place implants. And so it's essential to try and maintain that buccal plate when thinking of placing implants in the future. When implementing the physics forcep, the first step is to take the beak of the forceps and engage it into the lingual or palatal aspect of the tooth, such as this. Notice I don't want to squeeze when I do this uh, type of motion. The next thing I'm going to do is take the um, bumper of the forceps and place it as apically as possible in the uh, muco fold or the vestibule fold. You're going to go ahead and make a lever motion such as this. And a lot of dentists have a tendency to want to squeeze. We don't want to squeeze, um, otherwise you will crack the buccal plate of bone. What you want to do is engage that tooth and then use a lever action and put some pressure on it. And what I found in my practice when I utilized this instrument is after about 20 seconds of putting force on this, the periodontal ligament is separated and then all of a sudden the tooth will loosen up and that's when we either A, will take a cotton forcep or take our fingers with gauze and pull the tooth out. It's as simple as that. One of the things that I found with the physics forceps that it doesn't matter what size dentist implements it into their practice whether you're a muscular dentist or you're a small size dentist or even if you're a male or female dentist um, by using the levers the biomechanics of this forcep allow you to take any tooth out without having to put so much force onto the tooth or to have to put your knee into the patient's chest that we've heard so many times in our practice from um, existing patients. 
Some dentists may be overwhelmed from the cost uh, at first glance, but when you look at the time that it's going to save you, um, the fact that it's an atraumatic extraction, I think you'll find that the Physics Forceps is definitely worth it. I've been using it now for almost a year, and I can tell you I highly recommend it to um, any dentist that I lecture to. We also teach it in our Reconstructive Dentistry Institute, um, and all the dentists that have implemented it have found that it works great. First, open the instrument wide. Then, engage the beak deep on the lingual aspect of the root. Next, set the bumper at the mucogingival junction. Note the fixed position of the hand on the instrument. Do not squeeze the handles. Slowly apply pressure, rolling in an arc, towards the buckle to accomplish an occlusal lift. Using wrist movement only, disengaging it from the socket. At the first sign of movement, or what is commonly referred to as the pop, stop. The instrument has performed its intended use. Now you can use an instrument of choice to grasp and remove the tooth from the socket. The physics forceps are available in a standard series, a posterior series, and a pedodontic series. The standard series includes the following four instruments that are designed specifically for each section of the mouth. An upper right, an upper anterior, an upper left, and a lower universal. The upper right is used for teeth number two through five. The upper anterior is used for teeth number six through 11. The upper left is used for teeth number 12 through 15. And the lower universal is for teeth number 18 through 31. The standard series set will allow you to extract all teeth in the mouth with the exception of third molars. In some instances, you may not be able to access hard to reach second molars depending on the patient. The posterior series should be utilized in these instances. The posterior series includes the following four instruments that are designed specifically for erupted third molars and hard to reach second molars. An upper right, an upper left, a lower right, and a lower left. The posterior set also includes a distal elevator, which is an excellent instrument that should be used when extracting upper molars to prevent tuberosity from being removed during the extraction procedure. The posterior series utilizes a similar technique as the standard series and have an innovative design to access the posterior regions of the mouth. Lastly, the physics forceps are available in a pedodontic series which is comprised of the same instruments as the standard series set, but they are 30% smaller in size. Today, we have a patient who presents to our office in an emergency situation with a failing maxillary right second bicuspid tooth number four and the radiograph indicates a, a um, angulation on the root we also have a fracture in this tooth if we can pick this up so we want to take this tooth out as atraumatically as possible and to do that we're going to use the physics forceps we'll use the maxillary right physics forcep to extract tooth number four with the hope of placing an immediate implant today. The maxillary right, second bicuspid, has significant inflammation. So prior to extraction, I'm going to flatten out the palatal root structure a little bit. So I'm just using a high speed. Open big for me, sir. And I'm going to just flatten the root structure about five, six millimeters on the palatal. The physics forcep it has a green bumper on it. That bumper will be on the buccal or facial aspect of the bone as far up the vestibule as possible. The flattened edge will engage the lingual part of the tooth. You can big for me, sir.
Now what I'm doing is holding the forcep rather lightly and rotating my wrist. There's no arm pressure. It's a simple rotation of the wrist. Slowly. And you saw that little pop. And I'm just going to take a another force up and simply remove the tooth and the infection. Go ahead if you can rinse the um, section. And you can see the infection, you can see the fracture, and we got the root out in one piece. Amazing. Magical. So let's observe the periapical digital radiograph and you can see the significant decay in the three teeth in question. They're broken down. Obviously we discuss all the treatment options with the patient and we elected to extract those teeth and today we're going to put a removable transitional appliance in this position. What we're going to be doing today is extracting the maxillary right lateral incisor, maxillary right central incisor, and maxillary left central incisor due to ex excessive decay. We're going to be using the physics forceps to do this atraumatic extraction. But before we begin, we're going to anesthetize the area using 1 to 100,000 articane. And simple infiltration is fine. The first thing we're going to do when we're using the physics forceps is to flatten the palatal surface of the root to give us a purchase point for the flat end of the physics forceps. Using the maxillary anterior physics forcep, we're going to establish our purchase point with our flat end using the bumper area on the buckle, buckle plate. And I'm not using a lot of force here, but I am kind of holding it with my finger so it doesn't slip off and I'm simply rotating my wrist and it just popped a little bit and you can actually feel that little pop mm -hmm. and the tooth came out quite easily. Let's move on to our second one. Again, getting that bumper onto the facial as far down into the vestibule as you can. And again, simply rotating my wrist. and you can feel the pop and we'll simply take a and you can see an easy extraction without damaging the facial plate it's critical especially during implant placement and let's do the third one and we are going to be all finished Again, putting the bumper deep in the vestibule, establishing a purchase point on the lingual, and I'm using very little strength 
rather just rotation, it popped. And again, leaving the facial plate completely intact. Hello, my name is John Suzuki. I'm professor of periodontology and oral implantology at Temple University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We've started using the physics forceps for extractions, especially atraumatic extractions. In our graduate periodontology clinic, we find them to be invaluable at beginning the atraumatic extraction process. Hi, I'm Dr. Helena Perez. I'm the chairman of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery here at Uni University of Detroit Mercy Dental School. Um, the advantage of these instruments is because um, using a biomechanical advantage to take the teeth out rather than just your strength, it doesn't matter how strong you are. If the instrument is used properly, you get leverage and um, difficult extractions can be done uh, very efficiently. 12.30 somebody calls, emergency patient. Right? How long has it bothered you? Three weeks. Okay? But today's an emergency, right? I mean, that, that happens all the time. Okay? All infected down here, six, seven teeth that, that have to come out, right? Including two very long cuspids, okay? So in the past, okay, let them come in. In the past, they would come in, I would medicate them, and I'd be on my way. Now, I get them numb, and literally, I'm like this. I had six or seven in my hand, and I was out by one o'clock, okay? Pretty quick. They're very quick. Peritomes are good. Okay, I mean, a lot of those things are good. Whatever works best in your hands. This will work a lot faster, especially if you've given up on surgery. You should be doing this in your practice. There is no question um, about it. We're going to section this broken down root. Not a vibration. Open to make getting it. Mm Thank you. 
Open big for me, sir. There you go. Get it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, what we're going to do today is extract a non-restorable tooth number seven, a maxillary right lateral incisor that had a root canal and a post. And as you could see from the radiograph, we had a failure of the tooth structure. We're going to use the maxillary anterior physics forceps. I'm a right-handed dentist, but I'm going to use my left hand in removing this tooth. So let's see if we can reposition it. You can see the little beak will go on the lingual surface of the tooth as deep palatally onto the root surface as possible. Then we have a bumper, the green bumper, which will be on the buccal vestibule. Again, as high apical or as high into the, into the sulcus as possible. So let's see if we can reposition this. And I'm using my left hand here, and I'm a right-handed dentist. I'm just going to hold a little purchase point here. Now you can see I'm not using a lot of pressure on my fingers, on my hand, or on my arm at all. And I'm just slowly rotating my wrist, ever so slowly. Now this is difficult for a dentist because we're used to grabbing onto things and really tugging and pulling. But we're allowing the PDL to change for a high uranidase acid to form, which will reduce the PDL and hopefully extract the tooth atraumatically. And I'm just rotating my wrist. I'm really just using two fingers here, as you can see. Slowly, slowly, slowly rotating my wrist. It's starting to give a little bit. This is a crown, so sometimes a crown comes off first, but it's starting to come. And see the tooth move a little bit. Wow, and it just snapped. This is really magical. And then I'll just take a an instrument to grab onto the root structure and finish. the atraumatic extraction of a non-restorable tooth. And here you can even see the posts poking through. Really magic. I've been teaching at the University of Detroit Mercy Dental School for over two years now, and I introduced the physics force up to the students. I have had a great reaction from the students, the ones uh, who want to try something different besides the conventional forceps have found them very easy to use. Um, they like the fact that they can do the more difficult extractions instead of giving them to the residents since no surgery is involved. So they've been taking them on their mission trips and they've been taking them to uh, the UHC, the hospital clinics where we do so many extractions and they find that they can do them simply and efficiently and uh, they're wanting to use them all the time now. They're their go-to instruments. For more information and to watch several more clinical videos, please visit physicsforceps.com or call 1-877-987 2284